Today I'm going to be breaking down just how important it is to take note of the vulnerability stat inside of Brighter Shore. This is given to both monsters and certain weapons, and I'm going to show you just how much of an impact this can end up making on your time to kill. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it here. I'm going to be comparing a level 18 epic weapon that has a zero weakness buff to a level 16 purple weapon that has 22 less strength, but it comes with a 49% chance to inflict the arbor damage today this toothless old hag here is going to be our test subject mainly because it's vulnerable to the arbor damage so i ran just a very small sample size and i timed myself killing four of these old hags with the epic weapon the average time to kill ended up being 23 seconds with a max hit of 17 and a fastest time to kill of 20 seconds to compare that to the much weaker weapon on paper that just so happens to match this monster's vulnerability in four kills we managed to get an average time to kill of 25.25 seconds with a maximum hit of 17 and a fastest time to kill of 20 seconds considering the fact the fact that this game's combat is very RNG heavy, I would say that these numbers are actually very close to each other and it could have easily flipped either way with a larger sample size. The point being that these monsters' vulnerabilities and matching up weapons to those vulnerabilities, even if the weapon may seem less powerful, could very well end up speeding up your kill. Either way, that's all I wanted to break down inside of this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm out.